Hi beauties, Vicky J here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my subscribers and my new ones. It's always a pleasure to have you. It's been a long time guys. I know I haven't been on here to update you guys on anything, but I am here today. A quick review on what's been going on with my hair, what I've been using in my hair. Also, I'm going to be having a relaxer today. It's not a demo, but I'm just going to be showing you guys what I actually use in my hair, the products that I'm going to talk about, how I actually incorporate that into my regimen and use it in my hair. If you guys have followed me in the past, you know that I do relax my hair every 12 weeks. I used to push a little longer in my stretch, but I kind of cut that out because I've had a little hiccups in my hair, a little setback. Also, let me fill you guys in. I have been having a lot of crazy shedding. Now this has been going on for the past couple of months when we were in the winter season. Now we all know that shedding, it's normal. And we do shed about 100 strands of hair a day. Once you start going over that, you know, it's definitely red flag, cry for help, you know, do something quick. And that's what I was experiencing. Cause I know in the winter season, my hair does have a different way how it reacts. And I guess it varies for everyone in each season. Right now we're in the summer season. And I was trying to weigh out what was causing most of this beside blaming it on the weather. I started looking into the products that I was using in my hair and trying to kind of weed out little things here and there to see if it could have been something that was actually helping to contribute to the shedding as well. And I think I found my answer. I took out my castor oil and I, when I pulled that out of my regimen, I noticed a drastic decrease in the shedding that was going on with my hair. So castor oil for me, it really doesn't work as well in my hair, probably within that season. Not that I'm going to entirely not use it in my regimen at all, but it seems as though during the winter time, I have to lay off the castor oil because castor oil is a really thick, heavy oil and it is best to use it with a carrier oil, you know, something else that's going to break it down so it won't be as clammy and as thick. A lot of times I will just use it straight, but you know, I'll be very minimal with it so it doesn't weigh my hair down, get it too greasy, slick, or anything like that. Um, or I may mix it with probably a little coconut oil, you know, something as of that nature. Up until now, it's not really that crazy. I mean, I do have shedding, which is normal, but it wasn't as ridiculous as it was a couple of months ago. So it's really good to pay attention to some of the products that you're using in your hair. Moving forward, uh, as far as moisturizing my hair, I do moisturize my hair as needed. I used to moisturize my hair like religiously every other day but I noticed that that is really not necessary because sometimes when I get to that day my hair might still have a little moisture in it and adding too much products onto your hair can just weigh it down and also cause a lot of problems as well. With my hair my density is not of that thick coarse nature that I need to have a lot of products added into my hair. It's more on the medium thin side so if I add too much products into my hair, it's really going to weigh it down and it's just going to look lifeless on my head. So uh, to me, as far as moisturizing, I just go as needed and I try to look for products that's water-based, light, not too heavy, not too clammy, something that's just going to rejuvenate the hair, give it manageability, get it soft uh, without weighing it down. And two products that I really like and I've been using it for quite a while now and it's been doing great in my hair is the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Anti-Breakage Leave-In Conditioner. This is amazing. Love, love, love this product. It's actually a cream moisturizer, really thick. It's really um, a thick lotion. This, I just use it sparingly in the roots of my hair and I just massage it into my scalp. The other product that I use, uh, this is the Lota Body with Coconut and Shear Oils. It's a fortifying, strengthening leave-in conditioner. This one is a, um, a liquid conditioner. Yes, yeah, so you actually have to shake it up to activate it. Now, I have another bottle here, another new bottle. Yes, I stock up on these things because I really do not want to run out. So as you can see, there's like um, a light, a dark blue solution here. And then the top is kind of like a light color. And when you shake it up, it mixes into like this kind of cloudy, creamy texture. And that's when you know it's activated. Then you can go ahead and spritz this through the hair. Now the cream moisturizer, I put this into the roots of my hair. Um, the reason why I don't put this on the strands of my hair is because my strands are not really that thick. So if I apply this onto the strands of my hair, it's just gonna make it wet, weighed down, and lifeless. And you know, I don't really want all of that moisture in my hair. 
So by adding this product to the ends of my hair, it works really great. And the best thing about this is that when I spray it in my hair, I'll just mist it all over. It will absorb into the strands of the hair and what happens, it just kind of like penetrates and dries out. So it doesn't leave the hair weighed down wet or anything like that. Um, so in combination with these two products, I really get great results. You know, this one is just a great moisturizer to keep the scalp and this new growth really manageable and soft. And this one is just to keep the strands of the hair really moisturized, soft at the same time, but still making the hair has a lot of body, a lot of flow, a lot of movements, and it's not weighed down or anything like that. So beside the other two moisturizers that I use, I also use the, use the S-Curl No Drip Moisturizer. This is another great moisturizer that works really well on the new growth, like when I'm stretching out my hair. I try to use this product overnight because this is a liquid uh, moisturizer and this can really wet the hair, weigh the hair down and it will not be drying anytime soon. But it does what it says, it softens up the hair, it softens up the new growth especially, makes it nice and really manageable. I've probably said manageable a few times in this video, but that's how much these products that I'm talking about really does great in my hair. This is a really great product, but you know, you have to be timely as far as when to use this, how to use this, and be very, very minimal as far as spraying this or applying it into the hair because it can really wet and weigh the hair down, but it's really, really good. Now, as far as um, shampoos and conditioner, the most important one that I absolutely love is the Garnier Fruities Brazilian Smooth. Now this is just the shampoo. I'm all out of the conditioner. For some reason, I tend to use conditioner much more than shampoo. So um, so now I'm just stuck with a bottle of shampoo, but you get what I'm talking about. This, I swear by it, this really makes my hair soft, manageable, really sleek. It does um, do as it says. This is a really creamy shampoo, and likewise, the conditioner well that's nice and thick and heavy and both are really like moisturizing to the hair this really does a great job and I've been using this for ages for a really 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 long time I use the Garnier Fruities this is a sleek and shine anti frizz serum this is another product that I still have in my regimen that I keep using on a regular basis every time I wash my hair deep condition whatever I do with my hair this goes in my hair before anything else as far as if I have to blow dry or air dry or anything like that. This works really great. I've been using this for a really long time. These are two new products that I recently incorporated in my regimen and this is the Isoplus Extra Virgin Olive Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. It's said to be a lightweight olive oil formula. It's moisturizing and conditioning as body and volume. I am so in love with this product. The manageability in my hair was amazing. I was so surprised. My hair did not dry out. It didn't feel crispy. It didn't feel coarse. It didn't... Anyway, since after that, I've been picking it up and this is added to my regimen. It smells great and it works even better in my hair. So another product that I have been using for quite a while in my hair and it's pretty much a staple is the olive oil strengthening and condition and nourishing replenishing conditioner infused with sweet orange oil this is my light protein that I actually use every other week this is a new bottle that I picked up and I realized that it has 30% more product in here so I'm really happy about that so I mentioned that I'm gonna be doing a relaxer and you guys know that I do self relax my hair and the relaxer that I use is the Motions mild relaxer now these are the individual containers they're already mixed this actually comes in three strengths you have the mild the regular the mild and the super depending on the texture of your hair the density of your hair you use a product that's gonna suit so for me, the mild works really great on my hair. If you guys have to do any type of maintenance to your hair, you know, don't just run out and buy products uh, and start applying it into your hair. You have to make sure that it's something that, you know, that you're familiar with. Probably do some type of strand test or you have a professional do it. You know, anything that you're doing with chemicals in it, you should use gloves or safety mechanisms as far as protecting your skin and all of that stuff because these things can cause a lot of harm to your skin if not used properly. So now I'm gonna go into showing you guys how my hair really is. 
I just have it up in a bun. So I'm gonna take the bun down, give you guys a quick length check, let you see how my hair is. So I'm telling you guys, my hair is always in a bun. It's always in a bun. I mean, I, I, I have to figure out a different hairstyle because <laughs> my hair is always in a bun. Okay, so let's try and shake this out a little bit. I'm just gonna do like an up close so you guys can see like how my hair is growing out here so you can see some new growths in here and that worked out oh and if I forgot to mention I have not combed my hair for the past week and a half I haven't washed my hair for the past two weeks I've just been finger combing my hair so I am overdue for a lot of stuff So let me go ahead and relax this hair and I'll be right back. So this is the final result of my relaxer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Due to the length of this video, I'm going to make this into a part two. So please come back to see how I put my products in and go about blow drying my hair. So hope to see you in my next video. Bye.